Hey guys, welcome to Sumi and welcome back. See, in today's video, I'm doing some carrier operations on a Harrier. The advanced stuff, not one thing to remember. Everything that you do, everything is visual. And what that means is that you're, get, you're getting your cues visually. Visually, as a pilot, you know if you're where you're supposed to be. You know, as a pilot, am I on a correct light slope? I don't need to look at the Vassies or Pappies or my ILS glide slope to tell me I'm on the glide slope. I know visually I am where I'm supposed to be. So when flying a Harrier in carrier operations, this has to be visual cues automatic. You have to do it so many times that you know by look immediately without looking at your instruments that you're in the right spot or that you're off. You can cross check with the instruments. Yep, that's where it is. But the key here is visual. Instrument landings on the carriers and all that stuff, that's separate. Today we're talking visual stuff. Having said all that, let me go over case one landings for Harriers really quick. Align with the ship just off to the right side, 800 feet or so, 350 plus knots under 400. Fly by the ship, five to 10 seconds later, you can do a break, come down on the downwind. Now you're at 650 feet, alpha 10. Now does that mean? That means airspeed about uh, 160 knots or so, maybe less. Then you're gonna do a, a base and final, this is gonna be one continuous turn. So at about midpoint on the base, you are about 450 feet or so. Then when you get in the groove on the final, as they say, you should be about 300, 320 feet. This is very important. All this stuff up until this point, you can get away with uh, being off. But once you're on that, on that groove, you have to be where you're supposed to be. So half a mile away, 300, 325 feet. Okay, so you're supposed to start 12 miles out. Um, yep, yeah. okay, this is wartime operations. Everything has to be happen quick. Nobody's got time to go 12 miles over there. Okay, so we're coming, we're lining up with a, with a carrier here, descending down to about 800 feet. Airspeed about 360, 850 feet. Eh, good enough, good enough for government work. Again, don't let perfection get in the way of doing a good approach. Even in real life, you have some lead weight with altitude. So 800, 830, that's fine. Five to 10 seconds, let's do a break. Over here now we're slowing down, we're putting down the flaps, we're putting down the gear, and then when we end up on that downwind, we should be about 650 feet or so, and about alpha 10. Now, but what we're looking for here is our visual cues. Okay, nozzle's 20 degrees, that's the side picture, that's what we're looking for, that's what you want to see every time. Without looking at any other stuff, that's what should tell you that you're, you're doing good right there. 650 feet, alpha about 9, good enough. Now we're gonna do a quick turn immediately here. On, on, on the downwind, I had the nozzle about 20, 30. Now they're gonna go about 50 to 60 degrees. Um, and during this turn, we're descending, but be very careful here because you don't want to descend too fast. Uh, don't worry about hitting this 450, even though I did, there's 450. Um, what, do we want, what we're concentrating on is getting on that groove at about 300 to 320 uh, feet and about 100 knots plus or minus 20 knots it's fine okay now we're in the groove 300 feet good looking good looking good half a mile away 100 knots slowing down nozzles down to about 75 so uh, I'll adjust the nozzles to get me to where need to, we need to be. So we're going to fly right next parallel to it. And basically what we want to do is we want to descend down to about 120 feet. Uh, that's going to give us about 50, 60 feet off the deck, and that's what we're looking for. So we're going to fly right next to it, about 50 feet off, off to the left, and uh, about uh, 120 feet up high. Okay, so now this is all visual. This is what you're looking for. Yeah, you can glance at the instruments, but look, this is my altitude. I'm looking at it visually. Immediate, I should know immediately if the airplane is going up or down or if it's staying where it's supposed to be. I can glance at the altitude. Good. All right. This is what I'm holding. Okay, we're stabilized here now. Fuel low right. Fuel low right. Fuel, low, Let's move left. a little forward. Fuel, low, left. Okay, now we're parallel, stabilized with the ship. Now we're going to jump over. We're going to maintain that altitude, and we're going to jump over to the our landing area. 
Okay, now, maintain here, stabilize, stabilize for a second, stabilize, good. Okay, now we can slowly go down. And there's landing. Okay, that was actually harder than it looks, but the important thing here is that you want visual cues. You want to do everything yeah. visually. Any small change that happens, you have to recognize that change visually. You know, practice Caution. these points, Caution. practice it many times until you can actually do this automatically, believe Caution. it or not. And Caution. there will be a point where you will be able to do it automatically. So, and once you do it three Fuel times in a row, blow. you got it. Right. Fuel blow. Hope right. you liked the video. Take care. And I'll see you guys later. Fuel blow right. Fuel blow right.